हेलो एवरीवन आप सभी का फिर से एक बार स्वागत है मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में जिसका नाम है कॉमर्स ट्रेजर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस के यू डी एम कॉम फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट 2019 टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड वीडियो ऑन 2021 एंड अदर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ टू इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दोज वीडियो आई एम पुटिंग द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एज इन द आई बटन डू वॉच दोज वीडियो एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट इज गो टू दिस पेपर The first question is state different types of strategies. Strategies may be of different types. If we divide the strategy based on levels of strategy, then there are three types of strategy. First one is corporate level strategy. Second one is business level strategy, and third one is functional level strategy. So corporate level strategy can be further divided into expansion strategy, stability strategy, retrenchment strategy, and combination strategy. which can again be further divided into different types of strategy business level strategy can be determined on the basis of generic business strategy given by michael porter so they may be cost leadership strategy differentiation strategy or focus strategy and functional level strategies are the strategies implemented at the managerial level that is finance strategy marketing strategy hr strategy etc The next question is defined strategic intent. Strategic intent refers to the predefined future state that an organization is planning to reach within a stipulated period of time. So in simple language strategic intent is nothing but where you want to go or what you want to achieve after a specific period of time. So planning about that is called as strategic intent. So let us see the definition given by Pralad and Hamel the term strategic intent was popularized by Gary Hamel and CK Pralad who is called as father of Indian strategic management they defined the strategic intent as the reason of existence of an organization and the ends it want to achieve it shows the belief and value of an organization so what they try to say they define that it is a reason why a company wants to exist and what it want to achieve at the end of the specific period and one more definition according to loas and goshal strategic intent is the long term goals that reflect the preferred future position of the firm as articulated by its top management so they try to say that it is the long term vision or long term goal which you have in your mind and which you want to achieve in the given period of time the next question is write the difference between vision and mission the purpose of a mission statement is to describe what and how of a company it means what a company wants to achieve how the company is planning to achieve while a vision statement focuses more on why or meaning behind the company's action it means that it gives a reason behind why we are doing a particular action the second point of difference between these two are the biggest difference between mission and vision statement is the time frame a mission statement outlines all the things your company is doing in the present to reach your goal while a vision statement describe what your company is building towards in the future so mission is more of a shorter period of time whereas vision is more of a long period of time and the last difference is mission statements are public facing statements primarily geared towards the consumers whereas vision statements are typically more focused on the employees of the company to help drive their work in the best direction for the future so mission statement gives an idea or gives a framework for the consumer whereas vision statement is giving a framework for the employees of the company how they have to achieve the organization goal the next question is expand the term pest analysis so pest analysis refers to political economical social and technological analysis it is an management method whereby organization can assess major external factors that influence its operation in order to become more competitive in the market so you try to analyze the external environment of the market by making use of this pest analysis and take the advantage based on this analysis the next question is what do you mean by the term swot analysis 
so the word swot analysis evolved during the 1960s at stanford research institute it is a very popular strategic planning technique which stands for strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats so let us see the meaning of this organizations uses this analysis to understand their internal and external environment through this analysis the strengths and weaknesses existing within an organization can be matched with the opportunities and threats operating in the environment so that an effective strategy can be formulated so what it means swot analysis has four major components that is strengths and weaknesses which are based on the internal environment and opportunities and threats which are based on the external environment and it matches between the internal and external environment how primary activities and supportive activities function in a value chain analysis what is this value chain analysis it is a popular topic given by michael porter so it means a value chain is an set of interlinked value creating activities performed by an organization so these activities may be divided into two activities which are primary activities and supportive activities so let us see the function of primary activity first primary activities are directly related to the flow of product to the consumer and include five sub activities which are inbound logistics operations outbound logistics marketing and sales and services so the main function of the primary activity is to see whether the flow of product to the consumers is correct or not it starts from purchasing of raw material and ends with providing after sale services to the customer support activities are provided to sustain the primary activities it includes firms infrastructure human resource management technology development and procurement related activities so these are the activities which are there to support the primary activities without supportive activities we cannot make use of primary activities so therefore these are the functions of primary as well as supportive activities the next question is what is corporate strategy corporate level strategy or corporate strategy is an overarching plan of action covering the various functions that are performed by the different sbus sbu means strategic business units it deals with the objective of the company allocation of resources and coordination of the sbus for optimal performance so these are framed at the corporate level or the higher level by the top management to look after the overall strategies of the company so it again may be divided into expansion strategies stability strategies retrenchment strategies or combination strategies the next question is state the meaning of industrial analysis industrial analysis is a tool that facilitates a company's understanding of its position relative to the other companies that produce similar products or services so whenever you make an analysis of the similar industries who are there in the same industry that is called as industry analysis now why do you do this industry analysis industry analysis enables the firm to identify the threats and opportunities facing their businesses and to focus their resources on developing unique capabilities that could lead to competitive advantage in order to earn competitive advantage we do this industry analysis to find out the industry is in which phase whether it is in maturity stage or whether it is in introduction stage and this is going to help us to make a strategy so that we can get some competitive advantage mention the nature of merger and acquisition so let us see what is the difference between these two terms when one company takes over another company and establishes itself as a new owner the purchase is called as acquisition or takeover on another hand when two firms of more or less same size join forces to move towards a single new entity and a new firm is created then it is called as merger so in case of merger a new company is going to be started and both the companies will be mutually agreeing upon the merger whereas in case of acquisition one company will purchase another company and the old company 
that is the company which has been purchased is going to be closed and here there will be no mutual consent by the companies so in case of merger more or less the companies may be of same size but in case of acquisition usually the company which is acquiring will be a financially strong company so the last question of this paper was how cost leadership strategy is differing from differentiation strategy so let us see cost leadership is based on the idea of gaining efficiency exploiting economies of scale and reducing the overall cost structure this way the business is able to offer to the market products that are cheaper than its rival and gaining competitive advantage so cost leadership strategy is nothing but it aims at producing of products at a cheaper price thereby making use of exploiting economies of scale and you are ultimately aiming at reducing the cost of the product and selling it at a cheaper price in the market whereas differentiation strategy is nothing but whenever your strategy aims to win the market share by offering unique featuring products that are valued by their customers differentiation involves making your product or service different from one or more companies and making your product more attractive than those of your competitors and gain competitive advantage so whenever you try to give some different feature some unique feature even though you charge a higher price then it is called as a differentiation strategy so in cost leadership strategy cost is given more importance whereas in differentiation strategy the quality or the differentiation is go given more important so this is all about 2019 strategic management paper if you have any doubts you can comment me in the comment box if you like the video please hit a like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get a notification as soon as i upload a new video thank you for watching this video and we shall meet again with another video